So in this video, we're actually going to be taking a look at how you set up some of the style features in GeoGebra so that they begin to look a little bit more like this final project. When you first initially launch GeoGebra, your window may look something like this, and it doesn't really look all that similar to the window that you see right here. In order to fix this, what I actually did was during the very last part of the construction of our file that we have here, I hid this algebra window, which I actually used to make all of our variables and different components that you see over here. And you can see that when it gets closed, it naturally extends the graphics view so that all of it's perfectly hidden. The issue is, is that right now, a lot of this is hard to read and might not be user friendly for a student. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the window a little bit bigger and try and get it to match up as much as I can so that it matches the recording area on my video. But then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go up here into the options and I'm going to increase the font size. Now for me, I usually use a font size of around 20 to 24 because if you use any font size that's smaller that, than that, especially with projecting onto a whiteboard or any kind of a screen, it's a little hard for students sitting in the back of the room to see. The next thing that I'm going to do is use my move tool right here, and I'm just going to use that to recenter the graphics view so that it looks a little bit more like the positive Y direction is exposed with it about halfway through the X axis. Now the next thing that I'm going to take a look at is I'm going to work on getting this grid and this grid may be something that you have preferences about but I personally don't like these solid lines right here and the way that I got that was I did a right click on Windows and you can just turn it on and off by clicking the grid feature but to customize how it actually looks if you come into the graphics you're going to get a pop-up menu that will let you adjust all sorts of things and when you change the font size of these windows all of the fonts will increase in their size so this scroll bar will sometimes be here sometimes it won't be here it just really depends on your font size in this case I don't want to change the x-axis which is just this horizontal line right here and I don't want to change the y-axis which is this vertical line right here I want to change just this grid that I see and I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit so that you can see what happens when I change the line styles right here that changes it to kind of a dashed line color now what I also have a tendency to do is to make my lines pretty dark when I'm actually creating the files and then once I have everything set up I can always make these a little bit lighter at the very end the last thing that I wanted to cover here is that there are some additional menu options up here that can let you open up various features throughout GeoGebra. The most common features that I use are right here under the point tool. You'll notice that there's these red arrows that when you hover over them and you click them, you'll see additional menu drop downs. For the most part, I don't use the point tool, but I do use the move tool quite a good bit. And when you click on these, you want to make sure that the button actually gets this little blue frame around it, and that shows that it's active. The other features that we're going to be using when we construct this are going to also be our checkbox feature, our button feature, our input box. And all of that is underneath the red arrow that looks like the slider bar right here. The last feature that I also use is this feature right here called the Move Graphics View. Now this is different from the arrow that's over here because when you move, you're actually looking to move an object that's already on the screen. But when you go to click the move graphics view, you'll notice that it turns into a hand. And when you drag by holding down your left mouse button, you can move the entire graphics view. That's going to be the start of our style that we want to take a look at. And in our next video, we're going to start focusing on how we build our element constructions that we're going to start linking our interactivity to.